Yo, what's up guys? This is Intrinsic Off-Road. We've got Jackson underscore Franklin. This is his 07 Jeep Wrangler. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about it. All right, guys, so uh, this is my 07 Jeep Wrangler, uh, Wrangler X. Got it when it was on a budget boost, 33s and stock Rubicon wheels. And uh, got 167,000 miles and uh, I've pretty much built it to what it is now. And uh, I guess we'll start out front. I started off, first thing I did to it was a Smitty Belt uh, Stinger bumper. And uh, as you can see, I cut it because I broke it. But uh, then I got me a worn TI 9.5 with the Factor 55 flat link on there. And uh, then the next thing that I did was still on the budget boost, I went ahead and built my axles out. So I did uh, the Artec full truss all the way around. Uh, Got 488 gears from Yukon. Got Yukon zip lockers, front and rear. Kermali shafts, fully built front and rear. And uh, also my steering is ultimate off-road dynamic steering. And uh, it's been pretty good, a beat on it, and it's held together good. And uh, just recently ended up doing a rock crawler three and a half inch lift with Fox shocks. So it'll get up pretty good. And then also have these crawler concepts aluminum fenders standard width and then i just dropped off the crawler concepts rock sliders to get powder coated so those should be going on soon and then also wheels and tires that i'm running i have some pitbull 37 1250 radials the rockers and then also they've got uh dirty life bead locks just in the polish pretty sweet they've held up good and uh, other than that pretty much stock interior try and keep it simple I've got my air locker switches right next to the shifter CB tucked in the seat and also I've got a the electric windows and locks all the way around so pretty nice and then also back here i've still got this stock spare i know everybody gets on to me about having a stock spare but i just don't want to spend the money right now on getting a tire carrier and honestly i don't want to run a full-size tire because i'd be dragging it on junk and rip my tailgate off and then also still running the stock bumper and just recently i had a trip to chocoloco where i had a brake line or a brake fixture or vacuum line come off and rolled down the hill and crushed my tail out in my corner which is not horrible but yeah it is what it is jeep life jeep life and then also i want to shout out to my boys at rough customs off-road for doing all the axle work hit them up if you're close around cartersville georgia And then also for the suspension, it's still just stock arms, except for my front lowers. I have the metal cloak control control arms, fully adjustable, and they have their uh, Duraflex joints in them, both ends. And the Fox 2.0s. I got the ones for a six inch lift, so I have a whole lot more travel. And I've still got plenty of room on up travel also. And then for bump stops, I ended up using just straight hockey pucks. Just drilled a hole through them and they work great. Oh, and then also I just put new hubs on there and for Moog. And then my ball joints are Synergy ball joints. Also have the Synergy track bar brace and the sector shaft brace just to help the steering box take some of the load. And then also for the air lockers, I ended up running a Yukon air compressor to run the lockers. I still haven't run it where I can use uh, use it to air up my tires, but I'm gonna end up doing that soon. Just haven't bought the fitting yet. Yeah, and then I've also just got four Rough Country pods. They're, they were pretty cheap and they do, do the job for me, so. And that's really all I'm into is just pods. I don't really love the light bar. 
So it's just clean and simple. 